the denial of the Assyrian massacres in Iraq today mirrors the Assyrian genocide of World War I. Regardless of the ongoing conflicts between the Shiites, the Sunnis, and the Kurds, the attacks on the Assyrians are not isolated incidents, but a systematic pattern of aggression targeting that nation. It doesn't take much to provoke Islamic violence. We all know that. Any excuse will do. From the caricatures of Prophet Muhammad to Pope Benedict's address in Germany last year, which he coupled Islam with violence, led to the immediate rise of attacks on Assyrian Christians in Iraq. Attacks on university students Priests carted off and held for ransom and beheaded. Young Assyrian women harassed and assaulted. Infants snatched from their mothers and burned. As a portrait of a new and improved but chaotic democratic Iraq emerges, it witnesses the thousands of Assyrian families fleeing from their homeland and the largest mass exodus this century has witnessed, while the ongoing campaign of terror against Christians in Iraq silently takes its toll. Since the 2003 US invasion of Iraq and the unremitting attacks on the indigenous Christians of that region, it is amazing that Assyrians have not replied violence with violence. Had they done so, Assyrians would certainly have made all the headline news. But you never hear about all the atrocities happening to the Assyrians.